Like the Undersea Science Center before it, the challenge to the underground is another surprisingly underrated gem in the series. One day, a gold-eating monster named Goldon is spotted attacking a nearby village. When the Science Patrol comes in to save the day and stop the monster, the team learns that a miner is trapped inside of the mountain that Goldon is residing inside of. And thus, Captain Mora and Ide go inside the mountain inside of a special underground tank known as the Pelusiter to rescue the miner, while helping their teammates combat the monster. The plot is pretty generic as the series can get, but whereas the Undersea Science Center was enjoyable for the tense atmosphere, this episode's focus on peril is what makes it just as enjoyable. Characterization focuses mostly on Mora and Ide, and while it starts out average at first, the peril they go through while trying to survive Goldon is, for the lack of a better term, pretty perilous. And seeing them work through the dangers of Goldon's attacks are pretty tense. And when Ide messes up, he's not given a rash like the one he got in Oil SOS. Even the other members of the Science Patrol have their shocking moments. Like when Fuji, of all people, is knocked off a cliff during Goldon's rampage, which is pretty shocking giving her more dainty status in the series. As for the Miner, I kinda wish he had a better hand in sabotaging the Patrol's efforts, but no oh well. He's still a pretty decent portrayal of a Gold Rush crazed character. The effects are also pretty neat as well, but only when the team is underground. I'm tempted to believe that the set of the Gomas episode of Ultra Q was reused here, but even so, the change in locale is nice to see, and it adds to the peril the team goes through both above and below the surface. As for Goldon, like Gubila, he's very generic as far as kaiju go. But one thing I do like about him that separates him from most of the monsters in the series is that there's two of them in the same episode instead of just one, like Rodan. Personally, I would have liked to have seen them both double-team Ultraman for the sake of giving the hero two monsters to fight instead of just one, but oh well. Both of them do some pretty nasty damage in their appearances on their own, respectively. In the end, much like the Undersea Science Center, this episode is surprisingly entertaining despite its little recognition. Very perilous and very fun to watch. Give it one if you're up for a little tension. Shwat!